Oh, I just couldn't believe it. I was jumping up and down. And I was asking my mum if she was actually serious. She's like, yeah, you're going with the Navy. And I, I just didn't sleep. And to see that I get to dive with professionals, it was just amazing. Because I'd never been scuba diving before and I've seen like underwater when I'm spear fishing, but I've never actually been able to stay under there and actually experience what it's like. I think we're gonna see lots of animals, and fish, possibly sharks, and lots of seaweed. Yeah, I just, I just think the ocean's an amazing place and people should respect it like it's their home. Because um, most of the people that live in the city like this, they just think the ocean's all about swimming and jumping off bridges and stuff like that, but they don't respect that you need to take care of it. Because without the, people don't realise without the ocean, the world's nothing. Uh, the ocean's what keeps the world alive. It supplies rain, and food and fish. When you grow up near the water, it's kind of just, I guess it's just always there, you don't really think about it. But when I started to get older, I think it was probably nature documentaries that got me like kind of looking into diving careers. And then after I found clearance diving, I actually went for my first scuba dive to make sure I liked it because I was like, I don't really want to commit to a career of Navy diving if I actually don't like diving. And uh, they took me to this 10 metre dip pool in Canberra. And uh, yeah, down I went. I think I held my breath the whole way, which you're not supposed to do. Because breathing underwater is so, un so um, unnatural. And yeah, I was kind of lying, I think I was lying on my cylinder, like looking at the surface, watching everyone come down. And I took my first breath. And I was just telling Bailey, I was like, you'll never forget that. It was unreal. My parents moved to, we moved to Rockhampton in about 1979 and uh, the house we bought had a pool and my parents had sold a speedboat and bought a yacht and uh, they were teaching themselves to snorkel and so we learned to snorkel and uh, I was cleaning the pool one day with a snorkel on and my old man had just finished his Nowy course and I was, I was 11 I think and I said that'd be a lot easier and he goes sure and he threw it on me and said don't hold your breath and all I did was that's how I got started and uh, a couple of weeks later we were out in the boat and my parents used to go diving and leave us on the boat and, and we'd snorkel and that and then mum sort of came up and said oh do you want to have a go on the scuba and I said sure because you know so I threw it on and away I went and that was about 11, 12 and then when I was, I was 17 I was just finishing up school and I didn't know what I wanted to do. We were out on the yacht again, uh, Keppel Island was where we used to sort of spend our time and uh, my brother and I had to row ashore and take all the garbage ashore and put it in the resort bins, that's what we used to do. And it just so happened there was a, there was a landing craft heavy sitting there that had just come back from Shoalwater Bay where clearance divers trained. And they were all ashore um, after having been up on the island for 14 days. And we sat there and started talking to them because they were a happy bunch of fellas. After a couple of hours, one of them said, well, why don't you join the Navy? And I said, oh, Okay, that sounds like a great idea. And he, uh, he said, here's my name, here's my number, give me a call. So I finished school and I rang him up and he told me what to do. So I joined the Navy sort of April. I left school in obviously October. I joined, school, uh, joined the Navy in April of that year. And um, when I joined, you couldn't actually become a clearance diver. You had to sort of join up as something else. Uh, three years later, I transitioned across to clearance diver and that was 35 years ago. I didn't know what I wanted to do, uh, like I didn't know I wanted to you know, be a diver or anything else, but once I met these guys and they had all these tales, right, this was the big thing, so all these 
clearance divers, especially the, the senior guys who had been on their advanced course, had all these tales about stuff they'd been doing and I was like, yeah, that sounds like a great, a great thing, you know, travel the world, go diving all over the world and that's pretty much what I've done since then, so, yeah. Well, I've always had a, uh, a passion for the water. Um, growing up swimming, surf lifesaving, I thought it would make sense to then enter the Navy and join as a clearance diver to pursue that. It's just, it's just fun. Um, there was definitely a bit of a process along the way, a lot of uh, interviewing, um, selection process and course. So there was definitely challenging aspects to it. But I feel like if you have the drive, then you want it hard, like, bad enough, then yeah, definitely you wouldn't want any other job. I think for clearance diving as a job, if you're going to do anything in the Navy, it's definitely, I reckon it'd be top three, for sure. Because it's not, you also meet everyone that have like a love for the water, and I think that's what draws a lot of people in, is just that. It's a lot of camaraderie. You meet like some pretty amazing friends, and um, I couldn't think of, I couldn't imagine myself doing anything else in the Navy, that's for sure. I think for me it was just, it was so unnatural and being 10 metres like on the bottom of a pool breathing, I think for me it was just, you kind of feel the, the, like the cold gas kind of hit your lungs and you just, I don't know. For me it was just, it was pretty surreal. I reckon he's pretty excited, he might be a little bit nervous too, but nah, I reckon he'll be the same as me. I reckon he'll take that first breath, I don't think it's anything he'll forget. He's pretty lucky to do it at his age as well, I think I was like, 19 years old when I did it. Yeah, it was crazy. They were both surrounding me and they had big cameras. I was in the middle of them and they were talking to me and showing me all the stuff around them. It, it looked very expensive. <laughs> very expensive. It was covered with all the Navy stuff all over it and they had big tanks on the front and the back with like a mask and two strings, two strips of stuff for the air to go in and out of so there's no bubbles. I'm thinking it could be a good career and that because they just get to go and dive every day. Well, most days, even if they don't get to do a job, they get to train diving. They get to do stuff like they did today. I didn't think it was going to be like that, but in a good way. I, I didn't think there was going to be that many fish. I didn't think we were going to see an eagle ray or anything like that. It was way better. I feel like there's heaps more out there than I thought there was before. But it just goes to show that there's still heaps of life out there and if we take care of it, it can stay there.
I'm going to tell them about everything I dived with and what I saw. Say, so, take care of the ocean, there's only one. <laughs>